Hey guys, Mystical again from Halo4U.com, bringing you guys another video tutorial on using the Hophog HD PVR2 Game in Edition, which is the new uh, game capture card from Hophog. Um, it does up to 1080p video capture. Um, and this video, if you watched the first video on choosing the best settings for the Hophog HD PVR2, you'll remember that I mentioned that for whatever reason, Sony Vegas in particular has major issues with the video encoding that Hophog does with their different formats, the M2TS and the MP4 and the TS. If you watched the first video, I told you you want to record in either the MP4 format or the M2TS format. Um, whichever one your video editor, whether you use Vegas or another video editing software, um, whichever one works best for your particular video editing software that you're using. Um, however, the best one to choose is, of course, the M2TS, um, especially for Sony Vegas. <clears throat> if you remember, for whatever reason, Sony Vegas, when you try to load the MP4 video format into Sony Vegas, it likes to crash and if you load the M2TS video format it likes to load just the video without the audio so this video tutorial tutorial is here to show you how to uh, fix that problem so that you're able to edit your game play videos your game captures um, in Sony Vegas so after you record your video using the M2TS format it is important that if you're having troubles with Sony Vegas and the Hophog that you are recording the M2TS because this fix will not fix the issue with the MP4 format so you chose the M2TS format you recorded your video and if you try to load it into Sony Vegas which we'll bring it here this is a one minute clip that I have of Borderlands 2 um, you can see it's in 1920 by 1080p. It's 105 megabytes. If we take it into Sony Vegas, and this Sony Vo Vegas loads here, you'll see what I'm talking about. And if you've already been having this problem, then you'll know exactly what you're about to see. But it loads the video file into Sony Vegas, and you can see here it loads the video. However, it does not load the audio track with the M2TS video format. Um, of course this is a problem so what you need to do is there are a ton of video converters out there however the program that came with the Hophog HD PVR2 uh, does a very fine job at encoding the video for you so you want to go ahead and load up the Arcsho ArcSoft Showbiz software and the video file drag it into it and then we can close that and you'll want to drag the file here into the storyboard or you can switch to timeline mode whichever mode you want to use you're just using it to basically encode click on produce and you're gonna to go to create file it's gonna give you this information and here are the settings that I found best um, for the type you want file for the manufacturer file format for the format the best one I found to use is WMV and then quality you want to select high quality but then you're gonna to want to click on the settings button to adjust some things for the video format you're gonna to want to leave it at Windows Media Video 9. Resolution, you're going to want to make sure you're at 1080p. The video frame rate, you want to make sure that you keep this at 30 right now and don't knock it down to the 29.97 that is NTSC because the goal here is to keep the video as close as possible to the original video capture that we have and the original captures in 30 frames per second so we want to leave this at 30 frames per second. The video bit rate, you want to have it 15 megabytes per second. If you remember the Hophog records in 14 if you're set at the highest setting if you watched the last video so we want to make sure we go at 15 or else 10 is going to drop you in quality. And then you have an encoder type. You can do one pass CBR, constant bit rate, two pass or you can switch to VBR. Um, what we're going to do is just one pass constant bit rate. You can do two pass which is supposed to give you a little better quality. It definitely does when you're uh, encoding with the uh, variable bit rate. However, with constant bit rate, I've not I've recorded in both aspects and I've not noticed an increase in the quality by going to two pass CBR. I'm not saying it doesn't help. I'm not saying it isn't better. I'm just saying that I 
notice no type of increase in the quality by going to a two pass and it just increases the amount of time it takes for the video to encode. You want to make sure your audio sample rate is set at 41.44.1 kilohertz. Audio channel of course will be two, it'll match that with a WMA9. And the audio bit rate we want to make sure is at 192 again because that's what you recorded with in the HOPOG if you're using the settings that I showed you in the first video. And then you're going to hit save. You'll select where you want it to uh, save to, which I have it save into my video folder library. And you're going to hit start. It'll then start encoding this video. Um, as you can see here, it doesn't take very long for a one minute video. And as I said, it will bring it right back into the My Videos folder. Um, you can see this is the file that is created. This is the original file. Uh, so we have to let that very quickly uh, encode. And after the video has encoded, uh, you can go ahead and click the OK button and close out of the ArcSoft Showbiz software. You don't need to save the current project as we were only encoding it into the new format. If you bring back up your My Videos folder, you can now see it here. It encodes in about the same megabytes um, and quality wise. You'll see there's not any huge noticeable differences, which is exactly what we want. So after doing that, what you can do is then drag your new file to Sony Vegas. And again, it'll take just a second to load up here. And you now see that the video and the audio track has loaded in Sony Vegas and it'll build your audio proxy for it and there you have it the exact same video um, in very near quality to the original if not just as good and you're able to edit it then in Sony Vegas I do understand that it is a little bit of a pain to have to re-encode every single video file you create. However, that has been the only solution I've found to the issue when using Sony Vegas. If it's not something you're wanting to do, um, there are other video editing softwares out there like Handbrake that you can use um, where there should not be an issue with the video formats. Um, again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope it helped you guys out with any issues you may be having when it comes to the HotPog HD PBR2 Gaming Edition and with importing the video files into Sony Vegas. If the video helped you out, please make sure you give us a like as it really helps us out and allows us to keep uh, creating these videos for you. Um, also, make sure you subscribe to our channel uh, for future information on using the HotPog um, HD PBR2. Uh, for all of your game capturing needs and also uh, look out for our video that will be coming out soon that shows you the best rendering settings to use in Sony Vegas for the HOPOG HD PVR2 to get the best quality for uploading to YouTube. Alright, this is Mystical signing out until I see you in the game.